Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another tutorial and today we are going to um, make a parallel rack chain and we are going to use multiband dynamics. So let's go to your audio effects over here and select the multiband dynamics and just drag them onto your audio track over here. On this audio track I have um, an electronica uh, tune that I made for Production Music Live. We also have a template for that one. And we are going to apply those effects over here on this track. So right now we are just putting in the signal of this track in here and we are not changing anything. What we are doing now now we right click and group this to a group of effects and we open up the macro section and we also open up the chain section over here. And um, we are going to um, right click in the first distribution of the ranges and map those to macro one and the second one right click map to macro 2 over here. So now these macros control the area where we want to separate the three chains of the input signal. So now this input signal from here is going in here and we have three chains with the multiband dynamics. We have the first for the high frequencies over here, we have the mid frequency chain over here and we have the lower frequency chain over here. And in the end we have the entire signal output again placed together. But what we want to do now is a little bit different. So let's solo the high frequencies on that one and listen again. You see um, right now we only hear things above this crossover more or less. Um, so let's make a copy. Let's duplicate this chain. Right click, rename this one to high. Right click, rename this one to mid. And just duplicate it again. And let's call this one low. So now we have high, mid, we select mid and select solo mid frequencies and we select low and solo the low frequencies. And now for all the three of them, with those two macros, those controls will always be equally adjusted. So right now we are putting in the signal of that track and we are dividing up the signal of the track into three different multiband chains and then after this audio effect rack is applied, everything is going to be summed up together again. Right now it just sounds the same. But let's apply some effects over here. Let's take a delay effect. And first I'm going to show you the problem with delay effects on tracks. So let's mute this audio effect rack over here and just have a look at this delay. If we apply a delay on an, the entire frequency range of a track, we get a little bit of annoying bumps in the lower frequencies. But listen yourself. But if you're doing this in a club, it will sound really bad. So let's try to make use of our new effect chain over here and um, take the simple delay and place it into selected chain high frequencies and place it behind the multiband dynamics and then activate it. And let's do this again. So what's happening now, we are only applying this effect on everything above uh, 2k Hz and below 
this frequency range, we are not applying delay effects. So let's take, let's have a look at this closely and just move on, um, move around a little bit with this switch over here. Now we only have really, really high, like you can hear the delay still, really high delays and nothing applied in lower frequencies. Now you can apply a lot of different effects like that. You could also apply some effects in your mid frequencies or if you wanted to some effects in your lower frequencies, but I would suggest you try to apply effects over here and over here. So for example, when I'm using Ableton for DJing, I have this DJing deck control prepared and let's drag this one in here quickly. So this is what I what I built up for myself. It's a it's an effect rag chain. And for example, I have an effect called fade to gray. So let's listen to the effect fade to gray on the sum of everything. <laughs> So that effect already cuts out lower frequencies when, once you get it wet, but still you could put it in here like and apply it only on your high frequencies. Um, and um, let's let's play this. <laughs> So you see, you're getting some pretty interesting effects over here. Let's let's do the same thing with a redux effect, like that one. That's a redux effect. You know, you get your redux effects um, in the Ableton Suite over here. Let's let's try out a redux effect in the mid frequencies, and um, low mid crossover being somewhere here, high mid crossover being somewhere here. So we are basically between 500 and 2000 uh, hertz and we are applying this redux effect in those frequencies and just just listen to this i'm soloing what we are doing right now i will only want to hear what we are doing okay now we can Take it to the sum of everything. We have a redux effect in our mid frequencies. Now this redux effect is pretty it's pretty much there all the time. You might want to just use it offbeat. So I have a sidechain channel over here and I have a kick sample out of our D premium sample pack over here, but I'm not playing it. And now we could think about um, putting a sidechain in here and um, just playing this redux effect offbeat. So let's take the sidechain information from here, from this channel, drag down the threshold, get the ratio up and listen again solo to the mid frequencies over here. everything together yes so just to give you an idea of what kind of interesting things you can do with this parallel rack chain so we are trying to put the same effect in the high frequencies, I think it will sound a little more interesting over there. Um, let's try it, let's play it again.
let's just keep it here and just try it out yourself and, and play around with effects on high and mid frequencies. You could also do it on low frequencies, but I would suggest using it on high and mid frequencies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just um, comment below. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.